Okay, folks, welcome back to Action Figure Imagery Tour Reviews. Today we're having a look at Masters of the Universe Origins Zodak figure, the Cosmic Enforcer. And many of you that grew up with the Masters of the Universe line, including myself back in the 80s, um, maybe remember that Zodak was a neutral character, neither good nor evil. Um, new for 21, 2021, as you can see this figure is. Um, the original Zodak figure. Just get a close look at them inside the packaging. You can see the bubble. And cosmic Enforcer. Notice it doesn't say Heroic Cosmic Enforcer or Evil Cosmic Enforcer. It doesn't have either one of those words. It just says Cosmic Enforcer. And there's the back of the packaging right there. You see Zodak watching He-Man and Skeletor from afar as they battle each other and you'll have a closer look at the packaging later in the video and left side view of the packaging right here right side view hope you can see that pretty good alright now let's have a look at Zodak the Cosmic Enforcer outside of the packaging Okay, folks, here's Zodak, the Cosmic Enforcer, out of the packaging. And as all as with all of the Mass Universe Origin figures, they are very similar to their 1980s counterparts. Have a close-up look at Zodak. If you look closely in his eyes, you can see um, light from the lamp. You can see the light from the lamp uh, shining in his eye sockets. Uh, when you raise his mask up and look underneath his helmet or mask, it's you can see it's kind of hollow. Uh, the old 80s figure it was, you know, had some plastic underneath, but it's kind of hollow this time. Zodak still possesses the uh, hair on his chest, uh, the upper body that's like the 80s figure did, and there's the white belt still has the clawed feet. The red laser gun. Right side of Zodak. And back of the helmet. And he still has the uh, hairy back, also like the 80s figure, also. And see, there's a close up of Zodak and the articulation, as we always with. Head move up and down, side to side. No articulation at the shoulder, but elbow bends and got a swivel at the wrist, waist twist. Leg moves outward like that by that much. And you can bend the knee back that much, bend the ankle back that much. And also he has a pivot in the um, upper ankle. As you can see. Okay, now let's have a look at Zodak, the Cosmic Enforcer. Uh, wait a minute, before we go to the uh, slideshow, uh, one thing that I would love to see with any Zodak figure, whether, well, right now we have to purchase it separately, is his chariot, his space chariot. Uh, we first saw it in the Filmation cartoon. And we have yet to receive um, a toy of Zodak's chariot, space chair, whatever you prefer to call it. It would be nice to have that one day. Okay, and also there's been, and throughout the years when Zodak first came out, there's been some confusion on which side is he on. Is he a hero or is he a villain? Um, the early days of the old 1980s Zodak. Some of the packaging um, had evil Cosmic Enforcer on them. Uh, when he first came out, it, it just said Cosmic Enforcer. But then that confused a lot of fans because when you see him in the Filmation cartoon, he is helping out He-Man and the Sorceress. But in reality, um, that confused a lot of kids, I'm sure, back in the day. Zodak is really a neutral character. His goal is to maintain the balance. 
sorry about that. Uh, the about that noise, if you heard that, uh, his main goal is to maintain the balance of the universe, to maintain the cosmic balance of the universe. Uh, something fell on the floor, so if you heard that, I'm sorry about that. Okay, um, now let's move on to the slideshow of Zodat. Okay, folks, here's Zodax out of the packaging as he appears. It's a cosmic enforcer. And right side of the packaging, look closely behind Zodax, you can see his red pistol in uh, the plastic and a clear plastic. And full photograph of the box art, uh, card back, image. Left side view of Zodak inside of the packaging. There he is, as soon as you remove him out of the packaging. A clear plastic casing, as you can see, with all figures. I tried to pose him here as he appeared. That's the pose he had when on those old 8-bit cards from the 80s, they would pose him that way. He, w he wasn't almost like he wasn't directly facing a, the camera. He was like adjacent to it. And you get a, another good look at that fur, the hair rather, on Zodak's back. Left side view of Zodak. I'm sorry, right side view. The pistol. There he is next to the original figure from Wave 1, He-Man. Comparison shot next to He-Man. Close up of Zodak's pistol. You see all the details in it. And there's the mini comet that comes with all the figures of this wave in wave three. Well, I'm not sure about all of the figures, but the majority of the figures, uh, as you see, He-Man and Roboto make an appearance along with Skeletor and Merman. Merman sea creature. Dimensional Doom's the name of this comic. And you see Zodak is on his space chariot in this issue also. As I mentioned earlier, it would have been nice to have a toy of the space chariot. You see She-Ra sword, He-Man sword, as he inside of the mini comic. The figures on the back, and you see Zodak is close to six inches tall, as you can see. Straighten his legs out, and there's a full scan image of the back of the card. See He-Man and Skeletor fighting in the background as Zodak looks on. And next is a close-up shot, as you see, and you see Zodak's chariot. And if you look closely behind Zodak, you'll see a lizard right behind him, climbing on the mountain side. Another view. Okay, folks, that's it for this video right here. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Everyone have a blessed day, and we'll see you in the next video.